Layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. It's the next big video game crash. The video game industry is heading for the next big crash. Will the video game industry crash? The video game industry is crashing. Layoffs, layoffs, layoffs. No, there is no video game crash. The video game industry has not crashed, is not crashing, and is not likely to crash anytime soon. In fact, nature is healing itself, probably. I'm Fox with Real Mark Fox, and let's roll the intro. There's not a single job in this town. There's nothing, nada, unless you want to work 40 hours a week. So what is it that I mean by there is no crash and nature is healing itself? Exactly the opposite of what a lot of the other doomsday predictors are telling you. Uh, today's drink of choice is fresh roasted coffee beans. I roasted these myself, ground them myself, brewed them myself, and now I'm drinking them myself. Amazing. There's an ambulance driving by. Yes, my friends, while everyone else is preaching doom and destruction and the end of days, I'm telling you that this is probably a good thing. You see, game development studios and game publishers have been massively bloated. Not only are the studios themselves bloated, but the games are also immensely bloated. You see, we don't just have AAA titles. We're now into the quadruple A, where some video games cost more than large Hollywood movies. And at the end of the day, we've got game development studios creating over 100 million dollar budget games that don't sell nobody wants these games they're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on these massively impressive cutscenes that nobody cares about we're all just hitting the start and a button and holding the b button to skip them because we don't want to watch our games we want to play our games did you hear that hideo kojima we want to play our games we don't want to watch them just because you couldn't make it as a a movie director doesn't mean that we have to be subjected to your movie wannabe video games. The big problem with games nowadays is way too much budget, way too much in the production values, and not enough in the actual game. game. Play. You see, games need gameplay, game and what we're getting more and more of is not gameplay. Game no matter what game it is, whether it's Immortals of Avium, that slog fest, or whether it's Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is lots and lots of watching, lots and lots of cutscenes, lots and lots of boring walk and talk, lots and lots of blah 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 skip skip. You know what I want? Gameplay. Yes, that's right. Other <laughs> game play. play. Games need gameplay. Game I want to play my game. I don't want to watch the game. I don't want to listen as the game unfolds. I don't want to just hold the analog stick in the up position while my character slowly walks while some douche nozzle in front of me yak, 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 yak about boring shit I don't care about. You know what the best part of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate is? The parts where I get game to play. play it. You know what the worst parts are? The parts where I have to watch it. The industry is bloated. The games are bloated. They cost way too much to make. It's unnecessary. And this, my friends, is hopefully nature healing itself. This is a necessary purge. We need to get rid of the chaff, get rid of the fat. It's time to cut the fat, excise the fat, get rid of the trash, throw away all that extra stuff that we just don't need, and get back to making games with core gameplay loops that are fun. That's what it's all about. A lot of you love Vampire Survivors. I don't. I found it intensely boring, but I get it. Many of you absolutely love it, and it's because you enjoy that core gameplay loop. Does Vampire Survivors have multi-million dollar budget cutscenes? Does Vampire Survivors require you to push and hold the analog stick in the up position while you slowly walk behind a character yak yak yakking at you for minutes at a time? It doesn't. It just has what most people consider to be fun core gameplay. Game what about Helldivers? Fun core gameplay. Game play. We need to get back to fun core gameplay game play loops and less of the cutscenes, less of the walk and talk, and of course, less of the stench, less of the putrid, disgusting, stinky diaper stench of companies like Sweet uh -huh. Baby Stink. Once we excise all that garbage, including the entire DEI ESG departments, once we get rid of all the extra stuff we don't need, we can hopefully get back to smaller budget 
games with actually fun gameplay. And that, my friends, will benefit all of us. A lot of these people out here, these commentators, want to pretend like there's just some infinite supply of money and the company shouldn't have to let go of anybody. Nobody should get laid off. Everybody can just keep their positions. Well, that would be great. But guess what? That's not how reality works. When your company is bloated with unnecessary human resources, and I hate that term, but that's what we say. When your company is bloated with unnecessary people costing the vast majority of the company's expenditures, well, you gotta excise the fat. You have to get rid of some of that. I don't get excited over people losing their jobs, typically, unless their jobs are in positions that suck, like DEI and ESG. Those people are pure evil. Anti-white, anti-male, anti-hetero, evil people. So when an ESG or a DEI person loses their job, that's a good thing. That's an absolutely positive thing for everybody. But when a regular developer, just someone who does graphics or gameplay coding or what have you, loses their job, well, it's unfortunate, but not necessarily a terrible thing. What we're seeing here, I hope, is the nature, the natural landscape of gaming healing itself, purging itself of that which it doesn't need. And hopefully, other game studios will rise from the ashes like the phoenix to create new fun innovative games that have you know the word i'm looking for you, what do they have what do they have let me hear it gameplay that's right gameplay game Let's get games back to gameplay. Game and you know a game that has gameplay? Game magician on the NES. What game could possibly have more fun game gameplay play. than Magician on the NES? If you made a game like Magician on the NES. Oh, best game ever? Possibly. Second only to the original Magician on the NES. Thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. A huge shout out to Super Real Gamer Drunken Dwarf. And a shout out to Real Gamer for Cornelius Nolan, who has his own YouTube channel that you can definitely take a look at. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I'm still a small time YouTuber, so I notice every like, I notice every subscription, I notice every view. And one of the best things you can do for me, subscribe, leave a comment, tap the like button gently. Don't abuse it. Don't be abusive to the like button. But if you want to really, really help support support the channel, do all that, and become a real gamer or super real gamer. Real gamer starts at just $1.99 a month. You get cool badges, icons, and emojis, and you get shout outs in the videos as well. Again, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, my friends, for Fox sake, stay real gamers. Don't forget to grab your copy of New Tokyo, available on Amazon and Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, in paperback formats. Gameplay. The sky is falling! The sky is falling! The sky is falling! Are you crazy? Magician on the NES.